today we're going to be diving into a groundbreaking development in treating the disease hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. I know, that was a mouthful, that's why I will be referring to this disease as HCM for short. The new drug that we will be talking about in this video is called Mavicamptin and it is making waves in the medical community because of its potential to significantly improve lives of those affected by this condition. But before we get into Mavicamptin and how it works, let's get some background as to what HCM is and what previous treatments have existed for treating this condition. So what is HCM? HCM is a condition where the heart muscle thickens abnormally. Let's break down the term to understand the meaning of the disease. Hypertrophic means enlargement of an organ or tissue from the increase in size of its cells. Cardio refers to the heart. Myo means muscle and the suffix pathy indicates a disorder involving a particular organ or tissue. So HCM is a disease where the heart muscle thickens abnormally. But why is this thickening bad for the heart? Here's the deal. In HCM, the thickened heart muscle, especially the walls of the ventricles, reduces the size of the chambers. This makes it harder for the heart to fill with blood. Less blood in the chambers means less blood can be pumped out to the rest of the body. Additionally, the thickened muscle can obstruct blood flow, further straining the heart as it tries to pump against this obstruction. This can lead to symptoms like shortness of breath, chest pain, and fatigue. So what causes this? The main cause of HCM is genetic, usually inherited from your parents. It is caused by mutations in the genes encoding for proteins of the cardiac sarcomeres, which are the contractile units of the heart muscle. These mutations lead to abnormal muscle growth and structure. This disorganization also disrupts the electrical signals in the heart, causing arrhythmias and other heart issues. In some cases, HCM can develop without a known family history due to spontaneous genetic mutations during a person's lifetime. Now, let's talk about some of the previous treatments that have been existing for a long time to treat HCM. For many years, the treatment of HCM focused on managing symptoms and preventing further complications of the disease. So let's look at some of the main treatment options that have been used. Firstly, we have beta blockers and calcium channel blockers. These medications help mainly to slow the heart rate by relaxing it and improving blood flow, which can relieve symptoms like chest pain and shortness of breath. Secondly, we also used antiarrhythmic drugs to again manage irregular heart rhythms, which are common in people who have HCM. And finally, uh, there were also use of diuretics to reduce the fluid buildup and ease the symptoms of heart failure. However, they must be used cautiously as they can sometimes reduce the volume of blood returning to the heart. For severe cases, surgical options like septal myectomy have been used. The surgery removes a portion of the thickened part of the heart muscle to improve the blood flow into the heart. Another option is alcohol septal ablation, uh, where basically alcohol is injected to shrink the thickened tissue in the heart. Additionally, devices like implantable cardioverter defibrillators, ICDs for short, are used to prevent sudden cardiac death by correcting life-threatening arrhythmias. Therefore, previous treatments of HCM primarily focus on managing the symptoms and improving the quality of life rather than treating the disease directly. These approaches aim to alleviate symptoms such as chest pain and shortness of breath and to manage the complications, but these treatments did not directly address the underlying causes of the heart muscle thickening. In contrast, the new treatment, Mavicamptin, offers a much more targeted approach by specifically inhibiting cardiac myosin, which directly reduces the excessive contractility and thickening of the heart muscle. So let's look at how Mavicamptin works in a bit more detail. Mavicamptin is a myosin inhibitor, 
and myosin is a protein in the heart muscle cells that is responsible for muscle contraction. In HCM, the heart muscle cells are overly contracted due to excessive myosin activity. By inhibiting this myosin, Mavicamptin reduces the excessive contractile force generated by the heart muscle, which helps to decrease the thickening and strain on the heart. In addition, HCM often obstructs the left ventricular outflow tract, where blood flow from the left ventricle of the heart to the aorta is restricted due to thickened muscle. By decreasing the excessive contractility, Mavicamptin again helps to alleviate this obstruction, allowing for a more normal blood flow from the heart to the rest of the body. With reduced contractility and less obstruction, patients experience fewer symptoms like shortness of breath, chest pain, and fatigue. The heart is therefore able to function more efficiently, enhancing overall exercise capacity and quality of life. Hi, I'm John, and I've been battling hypertrophic cardiomyopathy for over a decade. It started with a constant fatigue and shortness of breath, making even climbing a flight of stairs feel like a marathon. I missed out on so many moments with my family because I simply didn't have the energy. We used to go hiking every weekend, but I had to sit out while they went on without me. I tried various treatments, mainly beta blockers, but they were never enough. They took the edge off but I still felt like a prisoner in my own body, always restricted, always cautious. My kids wanted to play soccer with me, and I could barely keep up for a few minutes before I was gasping for air. It was heartbreaking. Then, my cardiologist introduced me to Mavacamptin. I was skeptical at first, but the change has been nothing short of miraculous. Within weeks, I noticed a significant difference. I can now walk my dog in the park, play catch with my kids, and even enjoy a full day out without feeling like my heart is going to give out. Mother Compton has given me my life back, and I finally feel like I'm truly living again. Therefore, Mavacampton not only improves symptoms and exercise capacity like older treatments, but it also addresses the root cause of the disease, leading to better long-term outcomes and disease management. This revolutionary approach could potentially transform the lives of those living with HCM, offering a new hope for a healthier future.